up guys, welcome to Great Slice Golf. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Cameron Allen. I am a portrait and wedding photographer based out of Dallas, Texas, which means absolutely nothing on this channel. This channel is all about golf. We talk about news, some gear, what I'm most excited for are course vlogs. For, so for those of you who are in Dallas, Texas, around here, maybe you're in the next state over and you come over to Dallas, Texas often, hopefully you'll be able to see some course vlogs to see what the course is like, especially with all the different seasons around the year. Um, you know, how well do the courses play in the winter, summer, etc. So today I'm gonna do a quick what's in the bag a lot of changes this year. Um, I am a hack, just like 90% of everyone out there. Um, I used to be around like a 10 handicap or so, um, but now I'm more like a 15, 16, just because I laid off for a long time. But a lot of changes in the bag this year. And shout out to, to Como, Ooh, sending me this nice hat for free. So let's get into the bag because everyone likes to see what's in each other's bags. So let's see what we got going on here. Um, let's start off with the putter. So the putter I implemented last year, um, it's been okay. It's a little light, to be honest with you. Um, I'm used to Scotty Cameron's, but I thought I would try something new. Um, so we have the, the Ping Answer 2 here and PLD, and it's, it's been pretty good. Um, it's a little light to my liking, but I'm not the type of person to put a bunch of lead tape. So um, it's been rolling really, really well. It's pleasing to look at. Um, I might change this up this year, but so far I've had a lot of birdies with this, so it's been great. Um, no, I'm not gloating. Um, I can have four birdies in a round and still shoot 85. So I'm not trying to flex or anything. So let's go down to the wedges. So the wedges have been my absolute favorite that I've ever played. I've played golf since I was around 15, so a good 20 years. And these have been my most favorite wedges that I've ever played with. Um, and I've played every single Vokey wedge. I've played with the Jaws. I've played with so many of them. And the TaylorMade MG3, especially the Tiger Woods edition, these are my favorite. These are my absolute favorite. Um, these have the sole ground down a little bit. We have the heel that is shaved a little as well. This helps you out with sand play. This helps you out with a lot of different types of shots. And this is a smaller head, so it's definitely not forgiving. But we don't really need a forgiving club with our wedge because we need to be good wedge players. I mean, it's the shortest club in our bag. I mean, we gotta be good wedge players. So, 1656, these are bent one degree, S400s. So we have, these are uh, two degrees flat and we have 60 bent to 59, 56 bent to 55. And then we have a normal MG3, sorry if it's so bright, regular MG3, uh, 52 degree here, nine degrees of bounce. Okay, so these are our wedges, best wedges I've ever owned. I know the MG4s are out, um, but there's really nothing that much different. I've played these for about six months. They've been amazing. Next up, we have the newbies in the bag. We have the Tacoma 301 combo set. Okay, now these have been, I haven't hit them yet, but just looking at them, I just got them a couple days ago. I'm shooting with them tomorrow at Waterview. These, I, I, I can't, they look better in person than they do in the photos. They look that good. And if you can see, the leading edge is shaved too on all the irons. Well, most of them, not the long irons, but the mid to low irons, they're shaved, which helps the leading edge not dig in so much. And when you have a non-perimeter weighted club, like a blade like this, the leading edge is gonna dig in. And these are just, they're absolutely incredible. We'll see tomorrow in our course vlog how well I play with them. I'm coming from ZX-5s and 
the reason why I'm coming from ZX5 is, is because I was playing with these Mizuno MP20s right here, which were fantastic, but I got them used because irons are just really expensive nowadays. And to get a new set of irons is like $1,300, which is absolutely ridiculous. And the reason why Tacoma is doing so well, but it only came six through pitching wedge and I got them for a steal. And then I got a five hybrid and I was thinking like, okay, well, if I'm going to get these and add a five hybrid, maybe I could drop a couple shots in. And that wasn't the case. Um, I actually needed the five iron. The five hybrid just had too much loft. It, I didn't like it too much. So I got the ZX fives because I wanted something a little bit more forgiving on the longer end. And the five and the six were really, really forgiving. And really the eight through the five were actually really good. I don't hit it long just like a lot of you. So when you're 140, 150 out and you're hitting that eight iron for the for us hackers who need to get to the green, having not a lot of spin helps us roll onto the green or helps us hit short of the green and roll up. The problem that I had was on the nine iron and pitching wedge, you had absolutely no spin. So you had no control. You could hit your yardage perfect and it'll just roll across the green or you didn't know where it was rolling and plus the feel it felt a little clicky because it's a hollow body club i mean what do you expect right so here came the tacomos to save the day so a lot of chunks are going to happen with these tomorrow and a lot of tops are going to happen with these tomorrow but hopefully i can get some good shots now this is the combo set now we have the cbs right here which are, look absolutely gorgeous i mean these look almost like the blade. These are, these look great. And then I'm playing the four iron in this set as well. So can't wait to hit these. Now, the one thing that is coming that is on back order is the Tacomo 101U, the utility iron. So I did get that in the four iron. So that four iron will be replaced with the utility iron. So can't wait for that. So I will get a little bit more forgiveness on the longer end. And then to round out the kit, nothing special here. The three wood and the five wood have the Stealth 2 Plus. These have been great, they feel great. You don't have any of that carbon wood garbage. Um, you just have a standard metal head with the twist face technology, uh, no carbon wood here. And a lot of the reason why a lot of people don't play the tailor-made drivers, but they play the woods, is because the carbon face, um, as you can see, tailor-made drivers, those heads fall apart. A lot of bad reviews from tailor-made drivers, which I had the Self 2 Plus, which was decent, but through time, if you uh, have a lot of club head speed, there were a lot of faces that were detaching from the club head. So TaylorMade had to do a lot of warranties with those. And then we have another new addition to the bag. We have the new Cobra Dark Speed LS. This is in the 10 and a half. I'm super excited for this. Um, when I hit these on the launch monitor, um, the launch was extremely high and the spin was high and I do not have a flat, fast swing speed. Um, but I feel like this shaft, the Cali blue, um, or the Cali blue, whatever you call it, I feel like that's going to get the ball down a little bit. And then if it still gets a little bit too high, I can drop the loft down to nine degrees so this is the ls version and the reason why i don't get the max versions or the ones that are more forgiving is because i want as much mass right behind the center of the club face as possible because in perimeter weighted clubs your off center hits are close to center hits as far as distance goes right that's that's forgiveness but you're gonna lose some distance there because of the perimeter weighting even though they all go the same so with this it forces me to hit a better shot 
I'm gonna have more consistency um, on the center of the club head. The dispersion is gonna be better. And when I just tater a drive on the center of the club face, even if it's just a couple times around or even just once in a round, it's, um, I want that reward. I want that extra 20 or 30 yards because of where the, the mass is on the club. So that is my set for this season. So that is my set for this season. The newbies in the bad bag being the Tacomo 301s. You'll see me hit these tomorrow, but I hope you guys enjoyed my first vlog. Um, we'll see you guys in a couple days and more content like this soon. If you hate it, oh well, I'm just pretty much doing this for fun. So hope you guys like it and I will talk to you guys later in the next one. Thank you.